Hi everyone, this is Diane. For this stash history episode, I want to use up some of my stash of book illustrations, vintage book illustrations, the black and white ones especially. I have, I've been taking apart um, old books. I need to reduce the bulk of um, my all my stuff because I'm looking to move to a smaller place. And I was taking apart an old dictionary last night with all these really cool pictures. I saved some full pages, but I just tore out some of the really interesting images. Um, also, a book about fashion and costume through the years, and I tore out some of those black and white, white images. Um, this, oh, that's from the same book. There's just a couple dictionaries here and that fashion book. I also have these that came out of a bird book, um, How to Garden to Attract Birds. I don't know if I'll use these today, but I might. They're glossy, I'm not sure how they'll, how they'll do. So, I don't really have a game plan. I have a tentative, like a, what I think I wanna do plan, but we'll see. I have an assortment of tags, some library pockets, vintage library pockets, some coffee dyed index cards, and to make it into a um, scrapistry episode, I brought over some scraps of manila file folder. I think I will start with gluing before I do Mod Podge. So let's see, let's just start with, let's start with a copy dyed index card. And I'll just grab the first thing in the pile and it's a bear. Again, this is a quick and easy. I'm trying to find the definition of a bear. I think I missed that. So I'm just going to tear it out. Tear out the image. It's going to be a quick and easy one like the last one I did, but that's about all I can do right now. I have so much going on. And this is not what I should be doing right now. I need to be making a cake because I was invited to dinner and I said I'd bring dessert. So... I don't need to do anything else to that. Uh, I could have inked the edges of that bear before I glued them down. But it is already a vintage book page and the card itself is already copy dyed. So this can be a journaling card or it can be a pocket in a journal. I'm gonna I'm gonna get something else. I just thought of something else that I could use. I'll use this when I get to the Mod Podge portion of this video. Okay, let's um, let's take a tag. This is tea dye ink. church in a 
microscope. Let's do the microscope. I also have a lot of images like this from a science book that I could do this to. I just love these little black and white, very detailed drawings that are in a lot of old books. So I figured it was about time I started doing something with them. Oh, I wanted to do this. glue all over my fingers. Well, nothing new there. That's a pretty one. This is from a children's book. Let's put that one on an index. No, let's put it on this one. This is a piece of file folder that I colored with alcohol ink. something more to the back. And I'm looking at my napkins. It's already one layer there. I don't want the word. is already dark for some reason. I should be making a cake or clearing off my dining room table or because it's full of my junk from my shop or working on the farmer's market smash book or there's all kinds of things I should be doing packing orders thank you all for going to my shop last night when I listed some things all that's Oh, there goes my phone again. And I'm not going to answer it because it's Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, where I don't know anybody. Um, everything that I listed is gone except for one set of stamps, D stash. So thank you so much for that. Do I want a Mod Podge or do I want to just glue? I think I'm going to Mod Podge this one. No, I don't really usually glue napkins. I want to try that. Just want to put it on carefully.
So you can look at, if you have napkins, whoops, to use for collages and Mod Podge and stuff, you can look at them, see what elements you can take away from the napkin that you don't really notice right away. like just using the background or a certain portion of it. There we go. I like that one. Try something on an in a uh, library card packet. see it better. Uh, I have this bit of dictionary page with a flower on it. I should just have, look at that majestic elk, uh, deer. Um, I need just a plain plain text without images. And I left all those pages downstairs. I've got some up here. Here's one. Okay. is really old and it's in German. Somebody sent this to me. And it's from 1922. Sorry, I wasn't showing that to you.
This is kind of a glossy book page. And I have some of these book pages in my bundles of bird book pages in my shop. And I did say that I was working on putting bundles of book pages in my shop, but I think I have changed my mind about that. I just don't have time. It takes a lot of time to do that. And I need to get ready. I'm going to be looking at a, a place to rent tomorrow. I'm going to go look at something. So, and my house isn't even listed. So I just have so much to do. And I'm not going to stress myself out doing stuff that I don't really need to. This is a bunch of fans from that costume book. I just thought maybe I would do a collage <coughs> up here of um, papers to cover up that sticker. ink that up so we know what it's really going to look like. Maybe I should just put another image from this book up there. I don't know. I think that's too big. So, there's my piece. Maybe this and this. I could get fancy and use some handmade paper and mulberry paper on this, but I just want this to be a quick and easy one, because like I said, I'm short on time. But wouldn't it be lovely to have a little bit of mulberry paper behind there? Oops, I'm going to put this down first.
still not exactly sure what I want to put up there. I'm going to leave that because I'm going to put something up there that I don't have over here. I'm not sure what, but I will find something. All right, moving on. Let's try a scrap of manila file folder. be a tuck spot in a journal and I'm going to use Mod Podge this time. So I'll pick out my image. Maybe I'll use that majestic deer. Or maybe I'll use this pretty lady. So what she's wearing, according to this caption on her head, is wired rabato of lawn and lace rolled gauze turban. Okay. I think something from here should look nice on that. This is turning out to be not so quick and easy. I mean, it's easy, but I was just going to glue images down. That's it. Now I'm adding stuff. the sound will be better on this one. I don't have the fan on, but I do have the air conditioner on. Can 
trim those edges off when it's dry. going to use the deer this time on a tag. Deer, a ruminant forest quadruped hunted for venison. I'm just going to cut that right off. I'm just going to use this. Just keep it simple. Except I do want to ink it. Sorry, you can't see me. I zoomed in, so I still have to I have to be careful about where I do my work. her on a tag. I think I'll use this white one. to put something on the background. Maybe that, maybe those flowers are too big. Now they've got it all torn. I could do 
an all over pattern like that. I think that would be better. Christy from Ooh La La Crafts sent me a whole bunch of napkins when I ordered a few one time. She sent me some that had the label on them because these were samples. But there's plenty of napkin that I can use to cover these tags. do this all day and have fun with it and still have plenty of book illustrations and napkin pieces left. And I will trim, trim that down of course when it's dry. Do an elephant tag. This has an African elephant and an Indian elephant on it. So, whoops, I tore his tail off. Even with my air conditioner on, I am sweating. I know you needed to know that, right? At least it's getting cool in the evenings. Warms up pretty good during the day, but it's cool in the evening, so that's good. Cools off overnight now instead of staying hot. the elephant tag. You want to do a couple more? I'm not ready to quit. Let's bring my, bring my images over. I have a dragonfly, a palm tree, a pretty chandelier, the castle. I like the castle cactus and bees and a dolphin and an octopus. Was I showing them to you? Did you see them? I am so sorry. I think I'll go with the castle. And I'm not going to um, ink 
I'm just gonna glue stuff and Mod Podge stuff down so I can get through more of this stack. I know some people would disagree with me, but not everything has to be inked. Especially when it's already vintage stuff. I have to do that octopus. He's just too cool. over on this side this time. He's swimming in all that murky coffee. I just have a tendency to put everything over. If I'm doing a corner, it's always over here. Again, more. Well, that's interesting. I have two library pockets. They're not vintage ones, but I stenciled on them, so they already have a background. I can do this gentleman. I can do more to these when I go to use them. Like I would probably cut some paper and put it up here. No, I'm just putting the images on them. I'm putting them on and I had to rearrange them a bit. She's from a, a vintage book about grooming. It's geared for young adolescent girls. This is um, smearing the paint, the ink that I use for the stenciling a little bit. Whoops. Now I got ink on my fingers and I transferred it to the picture. Now when I Mod Podge over her, I'll probably transfer some of that ink that's smearing. Not too bad. Not bad at all. In fact, it wiped away some of that ink that I stuck on there with my finger. So, that one's cute. What do I have interesting going on? I still haven't heard anything about my cousin's son. 
that was hit by a car. He's in college in um, Denver. And I messaged my other cousin that lives locally. Um, the cousin whose son it is lives in Gettysburg, which is about four hours from me. Or, yeah. Gettysburg? Lancaster area. Lives in the Lancaster area. But anyway, I messaged my uh, local cousin, lives, lives near in my area, and uh, asked for details and updates, and I haven't heard back from him. I feel like I do want to put some floral napkin behind her. I have this watercolor one that's gorgeous. Well, this is a stiffer napkin. It doesn't want to come up. There we go. This is quite a long piece. It would probably be too long for a lot of junk journals. But, so I'm going to put her over here, and that way if I have to trim it down when I use it, I will. So in another Stash of Street episode, I'd like to make, um, like glue these images to circles and little shapes like that, maybe some hearts that I can use in clusters, make clusters out of them. It's a nice big one, and I'll trim it down after it dries. I'll show I'll show you all of these wet ones once they're all done. I think for now I'm going to just glue on some images without Mod Podge. Pour my Mod Podge back in here. Just poured it back into my container. Make a cute 
tag. I'll use some bumblebees on it. These are honeybees, actually. It has a picture of the male or the drone, the queen, and the worker. I guess I didn't realize that they all looked different. I just thought they had different jobs, but they look different. So tonight, today's Wednesday, I'm going to have this video post on um, Thursday morning though, but I'm going to dinner at my friend's house at 5.30 this evening and I have to work tomorrow. Oh, and tomorrow after work I'm going to go see that apartment or that the rental house. I'm excited about and Saturday no yeah Friday I have Friday off I get, I'm so confused on days I kept thinking that tomorrow was Friday but it's not so I might go up to the to the Tioga Downs flea market that had where the casino and the racetrack is. They have the flea markets in the barns. I don't know. I haven't been there in over a month. But I don't, you know, I'm not going to bring much home. Like I said, I thought that before, just Monday, when I went to the outdoor flea market and came home with all those science books. I just like going, you know. I like seeing what's there. Maybe I'll bring home a little something something. But nothing that's going to take up room, too much room or take me too long to get it listed in the shop if that's what it's for. Okay, 49 minutes. Let's do one more. I want to do the chandelier. And I better go bake my cake so it has time to cool so I can put frosting on it. Okay, so we got quite a few done. We got the chandelier tag, the dolphin card, could be a tuck spot, the honeybee tag, the black bear card, microscope tag, the lighthouse card, I love that one, and a trumpet vine, a library pocket. It still needs something in the corner. And octopus card, the castle card, elephant tag, gentleman library pocket, elegant lady tag, sweet girl library pocket, Elizabethan lady. Tuck spot, and a Victorian lady tuck spot or pocket, 
and a deer tag. Got all that done. Thanks for helping me, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.